Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this pretty cool graphic of Hot Wheels with on skate, and they're not concerned about the skate wheels or the flames. They said they could do that. They just can't figure out how to make the shape of the letters. I'm going to use the font uh, impact. But I'm going to take this graphic, and you could probably go on the internet and find a shoe that looks like or their skate boot or something, but I'm just going to draw it. I am going to... I'm going to use a three-point line curve the whole time, even though I don't have, I have some straight lines. But if you'll draw a straight line and then just double click, it'll stop. Double click, a little bit of curve to that one. And I'm just going to leave it a little bit curved. And I'm just using the, now right there, I'm not perfect, but I don't care right now. Well, I want that one a little straighter. It, you could get this, uh, see just my mouse movement. There we go. And we're gonna go and do both words and then we'll kind of correct them. This one's actually easier. This one's got a little bit of a curve. I'm not gonna go inside that S. You could figure that out and actually, well, it might work without it. So I'm just making the shoe and there we go. Now I'm going to critique this just a little bit with the shape tool. And I'm going to grab that node right there. I'm going to bring that down and let's get this curve a little bit better. One, I don't like that curve and see if you move that handle, then move this handle. You can kind of critique to the letter better. Now, the graphic is still one piece, so I can move it out of the way. And there's my two shoes, or two parts of my shoe. And the main concern they have, I'm going to call that good, is how to write this part right here. Well, it's not that hard. I'm going to go ahead and draw an oval, kind of about the size I want. And I'm going to put it in here, about where I want, but I'm going to, then I'm going to take two lines. <clears throat> you can go way past. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to draw two lines cut out at an angle. I want them a little bit closer together than that. And then I, but I'm going to nudge away my oval. Now what I want to do is take my smart fill tool and fill in these two shapes. That's going to be my shapes for my letters. I'm going to left click, right click. And from here on out, just don't move. Now, I've already separated the font out. I'm going to use the envelope tool. So I'm going to go to effects and envelope. And I'm going to go right here to create from form. I've got it selected. There's my H. And this probably isn't what they are. That doesn't look too bad. Now, I am going to shift select both boxes. Go EC. See, somehow it's moved a little bit. Go shift select EC. The T just, I might have moved the T a little bit. Let's put the T kind of back where it needs to go. That looks pretty good. Now people are going, well, how do you get the, the oval? Well, let's remove these lines. And let's move these up and move this up and then move our letters over. And we're going to left click, right click. Now, if you remember the oval, I'm going to move it back. Now, I don't like where it is. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to stretch it out a little bit. Now, take the Smart Fill tool. Okay, for some reason, it's going to leak inside that because there's two lines. So I'm going to move that one out of the way. I'm going to fill that in and that in. Look at that. There's our oval around our hot. I'm going to take away the outline of that. Well, I guess I can't. So I'm going to move this smart fill out and I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to put these back. Whoop. And this is where your artistic ability. So that's going to stay. But if you take and hold down the shift key, I want about like right there. And then I want to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to make it about like right there. Then take your smart fill tool and voila. I don't 
particularly like it, but um, it is what it is. I'm going to take away the lines and put this back. <clears throat> now, that's the top of the shoe. The bottom's actually easier. I'm going to make sure this is a good part, so I'm going to move it over, or make a replica of it. Left click, right click. I clicked on another one. No fill. I'm going to make it red. Red. And here's our wheels. This this should work perfectly. Go up to object and look at that. And then take them both. Take them both. Shift select the, well, we could actually just put it right in there. EC, take away the outline. Now, we could straighten some things up. You know, when you're using some things, that, well, there's a, um, we can just delete it. Now this is our deal. Sometime, you know, maybe the there's a little bit of mess from my drawing. You know, it might have been too curved. But you could fix all this very easily. Um, well, one, you could probably change your nudge factor. But once you get this, I'm going to show you how to fix. I'm going to left-click, convert it to a curve, and then left-click, right-click. And see the nodes. You can manipulate the nodes a lot easier now. You matter of fact, you could just probably take the virtual segment delete key and cut that off. And you can manipulate the nodes, whatever you want to do. Let's say if this L is too far back, you know, you could do this. You know, if you wanted to, um, that don't look half bad. And then just take it all and fill it in with black. Add your um, your roller skate wheels, uh, you can get those off probably off the internet and or clean them up. But their main concern was that. And I didn't do a great job of the oval. Um, whoever did this made it a little bit bigger. Um, but gave them an idea or two. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.